Hello friends, I'm Parwis and this is our 11th video in QT5 C++ GUI application development. In the previous video, we have learned how you can create a, a combo box. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how you can create list widgets in QT5. So I'm going to create a new uh, file or project, uh, QT widget application, and I'm going to write a uh, list widget click on next uh, next I need a queue dialog click next and finish okay uh, now this is our project uh, we have our header files uh, we have our CPP files and also this is our main.cpp and we have uh, dialog.ui this is our main user interface uh, that we are going to add our widgets okay now in here you can search for list uh, widget this is list widget and you can simply drag and drop in here uh, now after this how you can add uh, this is our window uh, how you can add items to this uh, list widget there are two types uh, the first type is you can simply right click and edit item now in here you can click on plus button and you can add for example item uh, C++ Java C sharp Ruby PHP okay and you can simply click on ok now you can see we have our these of items in here let me run this this is the first way uh, the second way is that you can use C++ code and you can add uh, your items to your list widget okay uh, now this is our items in our list widget okay now let me remove uh, these items uh, now I'm going to open my uh, cpp file dialog.cpp and in the constructor first uh, I'm going to create a queue string list uh, queue string list and I'm going to call it language and I want to add some language for example C++ uh, Python C sharp Java Ruby and PHP okay like this now I'm going to create a for each loop uh, for each and uh, Q string item Q string item and language like this now you can simply uh, if you in here if you uh, see our uh, list widget name is list widget now I'm going to uh, get this UI list widget at item and I'm going to add the item now if I run this uh, you can see that I have my these items in my list widget now it's running and yeah you can see now I have these C++ Python Java Ruby and PHP uh, now I'm going to make it a little uh, complex so I need to add three push button in here uh, the first one uh, the second one and the third one now let me change the uh, the first one is text color and the second one is font and the third one is background okay now uh, choose these three and make give it a layout also choose this and give it a vertical layout now this is our application now I'm going to open my uh, dialog.cpp okay first I'm going to right click on this first button and I'm going to go to slot and choose collect click on OK now in here uh, 
the first thing I need I'm going to create a queue list widget item queue list uh, queue list widget item and I'm going to call it item uh, UI uh, list widget and I'm going to take the current item like this I'm going to uh, take the current item from the list widget and save it in my item now you can do uh, some cool stuff with this uh, the first I'm going to change my list widget text color uh, for this you can simply in here you can item set text color and QT rate okay uh, let me run this and check this now it's running Uh, it's building and the build will be complete and it take some time yeah uh, now it's completed uh, this is our application you can see now I can uh, make it smaller and I have a scroll bar in here uh, now if I choose a language for example Python and click on text color you can see now the color is red and if I click on this text color uh, you can see it is red now another one let me change the font uh, you can click on font and go to slot uh, clicked now in here first you need to uh, create a Q font Q font uh, font not don't font and uh, now in here it needs the first one is the type I'm going to give it times uh, the size I'm going to give it 15 and uh, it should be Q font and bold okay now I have created my font and uh, after this I'm going to uh, like this you can just copy this and uh, Q list widget item and paste it in here uh, now I'm going to item set font and font now let me run this it will be run and also I'm going to uh, click on background and go to slot uh, clicked ok now in here I'm going to change the background color for my list widget item uh, so for this also you need to okay yeah, and now it's let me choose this ruby and if I click on font now it's bold and also you can change text color like this Python font uh, text color right okay now for my push button I'm going to also just copy this Q list widget item and paste it in here now you can simply item uh, set background color uh, QT green okay now let me just and now you can see our code is completed let me run this you can do more stuff with this you can set icon uh, uh, you can do different uh, if you check this uh, UI last widget current uh, item this item let me show you that item you can see background color check state clone data flags phone foreground you can do different steps okay uh, now this is our application if I uh, choose this and background you can see the background is changed Python now it's changed font it's bold and text color it's changed okay uh, thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel